Gang! Gang! He got a juice! Look at this world. 
when I went after you and killed, and killed all the children who are of two and below. See, see, they are crying now too. What do you think they are crying for? Because they love you. Not at all. I will tell you an entertaining miracle worker around every time they want to see something new. They will not have much spice in their gossip. They will have to go back to their quiet and boring life. None of them really cares. They will forget you in a few days. Don't go to the cross. These people may feel sad. Today, but later, later, they will be back to their old ways. Now we will be having a skit on the stage. The boy is following her and he is in her. Hey, brother. Ah, I'm waiting for you. I love you. You love me. I'm late now. Yes, it is. Girl, scared, shy, doesn't know what to do. And how to deal with those boys and runs to a college. The same incident takes place the next day. Hey. The doorbell rings. Ding dong. Celia opens the door. Celia hugs her sister and cries. What happened, Celia? Why are you crying? Celia tells her everything that happened to her on the way to college. Celia, when I get out of here, when I go to college, it's not going to be easy. I don't like this. Today, maybe when I die. They stop my game and going to college and please me. Don't worry, Sandra. I am there. Take care and continue your studies. Don't need to cry. Come. Let's go, Sandra. I'm going to go to college. I don't want to go to college. I'm just saying. Your parents are just behind me. Let's see what you're doing. The same incident takes place in the next day. Hey girl, wait now. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you? Are you going to wait now? Hi, Jita Ji. Where are you going? Who? I'm going to be a girl. Excuse me. What are you talking about? My younger sister told me that you like her. If you have the guts to teach her in her way, she has the guts to face her. Her parents. What? What are you telling? She also accepts the parents. She should just do that. Please, sir. Sorry, sister. I won't do it again. You never realize that can happen to any other girl, even to your sister. Okay, we are sorry. Our Lord Jesus has taught us to fight against sin without violence. Courage always doesn't mean violence, but sometimes. Non-violence is also a sign of courage. Like our Lord Jesus, 
dead for dying on the cross. It is up to us which part to reach you. With a pie, the shadow of the Almighty, I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For it is He who delivers you from the snare of the tracker and from the deadly pestilence.
we easily give up. We sigh and put an end to the precious gift of life. Is this what Jesus taught us from the cross? Dear beloved, enter through the narrow gate. For, for the gate that is wide and the way that is broad is the one that leads to destruction and that there are many who enter through it. The gate that is small and the way that is narrow is the one that leads to life and there are few who find it. Have mercy on us, Have mercy on us. Oh! We are doing oh, no. The eyes of both were opened, Stop it. and they knew that they were naked, and they stood fig leaves together, and made themselves large clothes. I don't know. Let's reach them. Stop it, Mom! It's coming! Big time. Big time. This is what the king wears! This! The first Adam, when I opened his eyes, he had to put on garments to cover his shame. Now you, the second Adam, they are going to strip you. <laughs> Look, people, the holy of holies, the king of Jews, stands you. Do you all still believe? The son of the living God. <laughs> Is he the one who saved the prostitute from getting stoned? And now look at him. Can't he save himself now? A naked and helpless God. And this naked God is going to save these foolish people. Have we not been in similar situations when we were stripped of our dignity and abused, maybe as children or in our teenage years, though it was never our fault? <coughs> of a boy and a girl together for two. It has always been our birthright. Dear beloved, comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works and in your teachings show integrity, dignity. Fear not, for you will not be ashamed. Be not confounded for you will not be disgraced. For you will forget the shame of your youth, and the reproach of your widowhood will remain no more. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Grace was in love with a boy named James, who was from a poor family. Grace's parents did not accept this relationship. One day, James had to go to his native place, but he was running short of money. So he decides to borrow money from Grace. Grace, you know, I am going to my native place today and I am falling short of money. Could you please lend me some money? Why not, James? Come home today in the evening and I will lend it to you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Now, Grace was all alone at home when James arrived to her house. Thank you. Hi, James. Hi, Grace. Come in, have a seat. Here, take some water. Thank you. Now, Grace goes inside her room to get the money. 
Here, James, this is what you needed. Thank you, Grace. Thank you so much. No I'll return you the money when I come back. No problem. Thank you, Grace. Thank you so much for the money. James? Yes. What the hell are you doing here alone? We did nothing. Huh? We did nothing. We did nothing. We did nothing. We did nothing. We just wanted huh? some money. We did nothing, Dad. Please. Bring it home. We did nothing. We just wanted some money. We just wanted some money. Hey, Mama, please listen to me. Listening to the sound, the neighbors come and surround the house. Some neighbors start commenting on hearing about Grace. What is this happening here? I've always seen this girl roaming around with that guy, holding hands, having fun. She's such a shameless girl. Looking at her, all the other girls are going to get spoiled. Her parents have not taught her anything. No values, beliefs, nothing. She's such a disgusting girl and she should be thrown out of here. You have a shame me. Yeah, I have no peace with the people now. You are a disgrace to me. Get out from here. I don't know what to do with this girl. Oh, oh my God. Do not come here. You are a disgrace to our family. If anything happens to him, I'll never forgive you. You should have died when you were born. Get out of here. Grace could not bear the insult and accuses that were put on her by her parents and the neighbors. What do I do? I did nothing. And yet, I was insulted and condemned in front of everyone. No one believes me. My dad, my mom, the world. She felt that a living was a curse to her family. So she decided to end up her life. In this kit, as we see, Grace was. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because thy holy cross taught us to be adored. Forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they do. your death on their behalf. I will still take them away. You said that you are the son of God. Come down from the cross. All will believe you. This one thing will make you more famous than all your miracles put together. 
win your people on the basis of your miracle and power. Don't go to the cross and destroy me completely. Don't do it. Come on. Don't do it. Come down. Don't die on the cross. Come down. Come down. Come down!
to your hands. Father, I commend my spirit. Let us all kneel and maintain a minute's silence. What are you all crying for? You need to be happy. It is me who should cry. Look, the curtain that I have kept between you and God is now torn. You can now go directly to God in His name. Look. How oh, his blood is damaging my kingdom. Look now. Those in bondage to me are being set free. Oh no. I am ruined. I have lost my hold on this kingdom. He has paid the price and redeemed you. I cannot keep you captive anymore. You are rightfully free. But here is what I will do. I will keep you in confusion. I will give you ego and unforgiveness. I will put guilt in you. So that though he forgives you, you will not be able to forgive yourself. I will tell you, confession is useless and do not go for it. Why should you tell your sins to others? Good enough to tell God so that you don't receive their forgiveness and I will do my domain. They feel nice when you go to church or attend retreats. But the moment you are out of there, I will pluck the seed out of your heart so that it cannot bear fruit. I will prey on you like a roaring lion. I will masquerade like the angel of light. Show people some tricks so that they will not follow him, but be my puppets. I will do some magic tricks and call myself a god. Close him and check whether he's dead or not.
we were buried therefore with him by baptism into death. We know that our old self was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing so that we would no longer be enslaved to sin. you to think about this situation like the apostles and Mama Mary. They saw Jesus was tortured, crucified, died and now they were taking his body from the cross and were getting ready to bury it. What a failure the whole thing seemed to be. The three and a half year ministry had come to such a pathetic end. Everything was over. The disciples would eventually think of getting back to their boats. To were going back to Emmaus from where they had come, leaving behind everything to follow Jesus. In fact, the sentiments of the well wishers of Jesus in those times. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Kush and Seba in exchange for you because you are precious in my